I grabbed this from Chris McCabe because I thought he had a pretty cool breakdown of it, but this has been all over LinkedIn, all over the internet. Essentially, Amazon has sent out a notice about vendor central closures. And so what Chris says here is that Amazon is reportedly shutting down many vendor central accounts permanently, leaving sellers without the option to appeal. Sellers must transition to third-party accounts, but those unfamiliar with brand registry could face challenges. Issues with video verification and mismatched business documentation may lead to delays or suspensions. Sellers need to stay prepared to navigate the transition and potential obstacles in listing contributions and account verification. So uh, why don't we throw it over to you, Vanessa? What are your thoughts on this so far? It's pretty big news in my opinion. Yeah, it's it it hits exactly what the areas that I specialize on on the back end seller central piece. And when I saw the news, I'm like, oh wow, this is gonna be very painful for a lot of vendors. Mm. So the first thing is transitioning from vendor central to seller central is not an easy task. It's not a flip the switch, create the account and you're done. A lot of the things that Chris is mentioning in, in the post are correct in the fact that first of all, most vendors are not really good at managing Amazon or actually they didn't have the need to manage a lot of in the Amazon side because, you know, vendor takes care of a lot of the key components of selling, like, uh, you know, advertising, pricing, some part, you know, of the content where you cannot change as easily and so on. So mm -hmm. to me, first of all, I wonder, and this is something that I read from Luva too. She sent me yesterday the, the post. She is saying like, well, if Amazon is closing the relationship or terminating that, you might sit down and say like, okay, is my product like a good fit for Amazon? Like, mm -hmm. will I succeed even like I don't have the vendor relationship because that's the other thing. Like, some things are probably not a good fit for the three P side, right? Because the FBA fees and all of that will kill profitability unless you sell it at three times the price, right? So that's where an analysis comes first on like, okay, what is that it's good for for three P and the model on profitability and costs and all of that is completely different from from 1p so understanding also that and i think that will be the biggest shock for a bunch of those teams on those companies that are you know managing the transition it's not the same game like seller central is not the same game as vendor central and the one thing that is the most complex of the whole transition is the async contribution rights. So contribution rights come from, you know, a backend catalog or, yeah, it's like a pyramid of importance or relevance in the contributions. So the retail team or the vendor team, that side of Amazon holds the most amount of contributions. So if an, an async was created through vendor, sold through vendor, then if the brand wants to transition, then the next day, or or even the, at one point, they want to change the title. They will have a lot of issues changing the title, even mm. with run registry, yep. even with them being the main distributor. Like it's just how the system is built. So I don't know if there is a there is something that Amazon is doing or will be will do about that, because a lot of them will struggle with this piece, and it's the most complex 